really nice marbled ribeye. someplace I've wanted to be for the last at least three or four years this is just gorgeous out here that's right we're overnighting cots everything the whole shebang we had to make two trips we brought so much stuff because the little SS tight squeeze right there guys she can only haul so much but that's okay takes me about 15 minutes something like that get your oil sun I'm happy right now this is awesome so we've got bullheads for bait we've got bluegill crappie shad got some common carp I'm gonna launch a massive common carp head out there on my heavy action warrior cat rod over there running 100 pound braid and 12 alt whisker seekers triple threat hooks guys that's awesome that's just awesome zach's back there and i'm out here with zach he's setting up a hammock best two trees he could find was back there hope you don't have no sasquatch encounters buddy just scream really loud scream really loud and i promise i'll come save you i like old zach me and him's on common ground we both got issues huh <laughs> it sounds like a baby rabbit dying. You ain't right, man. But anyways, guys, this is the intro. Man, I'm, in years past, I've just absolutely smoked some flatheads here. Got some nice, some nice wipers. Really nice wipers. Uh, nice flatheads. I caught my 65 just down the way a bit. Uh, Mel got her 42 right over here. Scotty's got some good ones out here. Old Scotty Hill, aka the Catfish Freak. I fished with him up here. A lot of times I, I was going to run trot lines, guys, but we just had way too much stuff. And we're getting late in the evening and we're getting old and we move slower. But this is what we're going to do. We got two big old lights set up, so we're going to be able to see everything around here. I'm going to have my pole light set up over there. Zach setting his pole light up right over here. It's going to be lit up. We shouldn't have any issues. You should be able to see the whole bank. It's going to be pretty awesome. So, guys, I'm, I blabbered enough. Let's go fishing. Yeah, there's some good bait in there, dude. You want any crappie? Nah, I got crappie. About in. I can use yours too. I'm gonna use shad. I'm gonna use shad in a while. I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this carp head and shad. Yep, that's what I think. I'll use a bullhead and shad. Oh, that's right. You got bullheads too. Yeah. That's a pretty flat line, isn't it? I should put one rod holder right up there on that mound, like a. Do it. Like a can't, or put the light up there. Boy, they are ripping with the motorcycles. Yeah. And that's a good long ways away, and we're in the middle of nowhere, you know it. Yeah. <clears throat> Cut this old. You can ride your sleep. I don't know that's your sleeping bag, and I thought your brother had but. No, nah, it's sleeping bag. Cut old carp buddy up here. Throw him out, and that's where he's gonna sit for a good long while. That's a bloody tarp. I always like that diamond. Right? Going on a big 12 watt whisker seeker hook, Zach. Nice. 
on motorcycles ain't annoying at all. How would Dave say it? The Dag blasted motorcycle in my video. Look at there, friends. Look at that. Yeah. We're in the middle of nowhere. That is so annoying. Yeah, They're gonna come ramping off the hillside up there down into the river. The right, right. Guys, I, I like that. I've caught some nice flatheads here in years past. My nephew got his biggest stripe, an actual striper here. Why did I do that? It was better off where it was. What? Put that rod hole in. Oh. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. You're not stupid. We're trying to figure it all out, buddy. I'm going to put this car pit out there at the end of that tree. There's got to be some more stuck down in the water out there. Got to be a flathead somewhere, Zach. Yeah. Even though it is March, it's nice and warm. This should, I didn't look at the water temperature on the way up here. I didn't either. I need to go look at it and see what it is. Oh, that's perfect. Right there where it needs to be, huh? Right by that log, yeah. I am going to set bait clickers. I'm going to throw a live bullhead on too. We're testing the water. This time of year, gizzard shad's a great bait. I've never known it not to be. I had fished in Kentucky that day. And when I got down here, I had a dehydrated piece of shad jerky on my hook. And I left it on there. And I just cut another piece of frozen shad and threw on with it. <laughs> And little to nut that I know, five minutes later, I'd be into a 65. Beautiful. That's where I wanted it. Up there in Flatty Daddy territory. Still getting used to these classics, they're lever engaged. Letting him get it out of his system, guys. What bullheads I caught. We're definitely going to do some lake stuff with some bullheads this year, brother. Yeah. There it is, guys. Little bullhead. How cool is that? Never used there them, but goes, I'm going. guys. There he is, all nice and cleaned up. Nice bullhead. I almost feel bad because he's in the catfish family, you know? Yeah. So I know there's some gravel that comes out in there and there's kind of a hump. So I can either go out here, I can go there, what to do, what to do, what to do. We'll split the difference. And that is that. I'm gonna poke some holes in your beans, guys before you cook them in the can because if not they'll explode and you'll have hot beans all over your digits and your face we just need a fish to make a video Zach <laughs> all this we got to catch a fish man do what Zach? I was just saying, hunter. Or a really nice marbled ribeye. Yeah. I ain't even got to fit. Don't burn yourself. It'll be all right. Little ashes <laughs> don't hurt. Uh -uh. None at all. Oh. Got people wanting me to do a catch and cook, but honestly, I'm kind of burnt out on eating fish right now. Yeah. Is that what them are, ribeyes? Yeah. I just snatched them up. I was like, I want a steak tonight. This is awesome. Hey. Uneven ground, man. This is all uneven ground. Is he decent? Uh, no, but still fun. Caught some big fish out of here. I've had trout lines straightened, the uh, hook straightened out on me upriver.
I just a channel cap. That's so all fun. right. I'll take chance. something messed with that. Uh, there he is. The channel or blue? The channel. I ain't no. I hate to say it, but I don't think there's gonna be any blues up in here this far. It didn't come up. Yeah. Like we needed it to. There might. It's be okay. There. They got the other bed off too. And that is a boy. pretty, pretty. Look how healthy he is. That is a gorgeous channel cat, man. Yeah. Wow. Look, he, there's nothing. He ain't got bumps, no nah. nothing. And he's fat. And he's still got a happy. few adolescent spots. Yeah. Right there's a big one. Right on. He, that hook. About come through his dome right there. <laughs> Poor guy. What are you gonna do with him? I'll throw him back. We take enough. It ain't gonna hurt to give some. Uh, I gone. What is that hook? That thing hung. Here I got pliers. I'll get it. There it is. Turn loose. There we go. What is that? That's a uh, six out um mustad, I think, or seven out mustad. Right on. I like that offset on there. Yeah. You want to hold him? Yeah, I'll hold him. You're fishy. I'll release him. Yep. About to give myself getting to him. He was hooked up the whole time. I didn't need to worry about it. Yeah, it's all right. Let's see. Now, 15 inches long, 14 inches long. Yep. Any other situation, he'd be going home. Yeah. Let's give him a good diving release. There it goes. <laughs> Zoom, we'll probably, dude. He was gone. We'll probably catch him again here in an hour or so. Right. The very last. The steak's cold, but it's still really good. I don't good. care if it's cold. It's still really good. It makes sandwiches. And I'm freaking cold, starving. Really. Oh, yeah. Zach, this is a meal to have out on the riverbank mm -hmm. in March fishing. Mm hmm. Oh my god. That's good. Damn. I really like that potato salad too. I always had a tub of it in my refrigerator with me on the road. You got bushes, beans, or what? Mm hmm. It's the only way to go. Yeah, I think it's maple flavored ones or something like that. The baked potatoes are still hot. The baked potatoes are just stupid good. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's because of the bacon fat. Wow. Lots of bacon grease. Heck yeah. So you're, you know, you do them like that, you don't even need butter or sour cream or anything like that. You just, you just eat them with that. Take his off. I can't. I got them all tied up. There I go. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now. If you get the chance to do this when it's nice and cool like this, I ain't going to do it. It don't get no better than that. I'll be over in a second. Covered. Get him. I've done missed some channel cats. Yeah, <coughs> <coughs> I'm awake. It is. There's a big old channel. No, there's a blue. <coughs> I guess when you stay awake, you catch fish, huh? <laughs> yeah, no. Keep your eyes on the field. Right. 
About two thirty in the morning. Is it? <coughs> Maybe I'll turn on for a spell. Trying to get my pliers out, but that's in my pocket. <coughs> that it's two thirty in the morning and we just woke up. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> Perfect keeper. Yep. <clears throat> Picture of me. Yep. Yep. Video of you. Yeah. Two species for the night. <coughs> that make three channels and a blue? Two channels and a blue. No, then you catch two more? Yeah. Is that channels. Fell asleep? Yeah, two channels. And three blue. channels and a blue. They're starting to turn on a little bit here. I think it's a bit early yet, but. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Watch your pole there. Yep, you're good. I'd give him a graceful plop. Oh, well. Be happy about it. There you go. There you go. Hey, you can probably grab it. Huh? I said you can probably grab that. Yeah. Hot coffee. Makes a difference. Wipe y'all off there. Well, guys, we ended up catching. Four channel cats, one blue, the water's dropped right out about a foot. Um, I got one of the channel cats and one of the blues on film, because I'm gonna be honest with you, when they hit, they all hit on Zach's poles. <clears throat> and at four o'clock in the morning, I wasn't getting out of my sleeping bag for a channel cat. Guys, this has been awesome. Breakfast is done. We're going to start wrapping things up. Head back to the house. I may end up heading to the lake. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking about it because I got a cooler full of fresh bait. Mel's got the truck right now. So when she gets home, I very well may head out to the lake and do some dragging. Try out this new trolling motor. But anyways, I've had a ball. I had a ball, guys. It's been a long time since I've been up here. I just look at everything around. I love it. Little Zach's back there taking down his hammock. I got to put up my cot and everything else. But guys, I had a ball. If y'all get the chance to do this, go do it. Take your family out. Take your kids out. Don't matter if you don't catch anything or not. It's peaceful out here. It's nice. Just stress-free from the world. It's good times. Listen, I'm out of here. We're going to pack things up. I'm going to go try to work on some more footage for y'all. We was just testing the waters here, guys. That's all we're doing. Try to see if these flatheads start moving yet. They haven't, but they will. That's a fact. So look look for more videos from this location, and uh, hopefully the next one i show y'all some decent flatheads. So I love y'all. If you want it, you got to go get it. Nobody's going to give it to you. That is a fact. Take care, and we will see you on the next one. I love y'all. Thank you so much.